Hello and welcome to the Hospitality Academy. Today we're going to be talking about training makes sense. Not just sense, but sense, money on the bottom line. My name is Mark Dickinson and I'm your trainer and mentor. I've been in the hospitality industry for almost 30 years and traveled the world extensively working in hotels in China, Japan, Thailand, Uganda, England, Scotland and Lebanon. So a vast amount of experience and over all of that the key thing that I've learned is training is the core of excellent service and excellent service is what makes great restaurant and hotel experiences. So today we're going to be saying that training is not an expense, many people think that it is and yes it costs money but training is effectively a way of increasing your income, increasing your revenue. And so today what I'm going to be doing is sharing five ways that training can help you make more money. The first way, very straightforward, training improves customer satisfaction. At the end of the day, we're all working to make happy customers. That's the objective. What happens is we get into an office, we get into administrative role, and we're far from the customer and we forget our prime responsibility, our focus is to ensure that every single customer is satisfied. So once we start training our employees, they know how to deliver a great experience to the customer and that results in these happy customers. Once you have a happy customer, what do they do? They tell other people about you. Secondly, they come back for more. Sure, you have a great experience in a restaurant, you stay in a wonderful hotel, you tell your friends, and you want to go back. You can't wait to book in. You spend more money when you're there. If you're happy and getting great service, this opens up your mind, makes you feel good, and so you spend more money. This is a direct reflection of how much training is done with the employees who are in contact with the customer. Because if they're well trained, they can give the customer excellent service and that's when the customer becomes happy. The second way is training improves employee motivation. Employ employers must learn to understand that when they train their employees, when the staff understand what they're doing, then the staff will be happy. They'll create better customer experiences. They'll do a better job. Not only that, they're more conscientious. It means that they'll go the extra mile. Why? They've been trained. They have more responsibility. They understand how to do it. And so they deliver a more conscious experience. And that directly results in being able to sell more. When your employees know what's on the menu, or what services are available, or can lead a customer to the spa, or can direct customers to the room service menu, you are instantly enhancing the selling opportunity. It's only possible when you've trained the employees to do that. Training makes happy employees. The third way is training reduces losses. A lot of the time, employees waste time. They roam around, they're not sure where to find something, they're not sure how to deliver it or how to serve it or how to bring it to the customer. When we train, we reduce those losses. There's less wasted materials. If you have a chef, for example, chef's working in the kitchen and he has a slice of beef in front of him and he has to take off the, trim, the trimming of the fat. So he starts working but he's not really well trained so he takes half of the meat with it. Every time he throws that in the bin, that's your profit going out the door. What does it cost to train him to do the job well? To make sure that he trims it exactly as he should and then you save money. Also employees know what to do and how to do it. That's so important. So often we see employees in a restaurant or in a hotel and they're not really sure. You ask them a question and they say, just one moment sir, I'll check for you. No way! They have to know the answer. Through training, they can. So that those no way experiences don't happen. That's what training delivers for you. The fourth way is training creates reliable systems. Contrary to what people think, systems run restaurants, systems run hotels, and people run systems. For example, let's say you have a policy in, in position that is for serving coffee. And you serve coffee in a mug, and you put it directly on the table. 
So one day, uh, one of our managers sits down, has this coffee served on the table, and there's no no uh, tray line. So he says to the waiter, uh, "Why are you not serving it with a, a mat?" So the waiter, he's a little bit in awe of the manager. So he says, "Oh, sorry, sir," and he goes and he brings a mat and puts one. But the policy that was trained was coffee in a mug on the table. Now our manager decided today he wants a liner underneath it. What happens is the service gets messed up. A highly trained employee will say, Sir, that's the way we serve it here. The manager will then think, Ah, our system isn't that great. Let's update it. Let's upgrade it. So he goes back to system, changes the system, and then lets the system be worked to all the employees so there's no conflict between this manager and the waiter. He just simply asks a question. Why is the coffee not served on a mat? The waiter will reply, this is the way we do it. The manager goes to his office, adjusts the policy, discusses it, approves it, and implements it. Next time he goes for coffee, the waiter will have been trained. He'll put the mat and put the coffee, your coffee served. That's what it means when you have excellent training processes in place. People run systems, but first you have to create the system. And the fifth way is training ensures consistency. Nothing will drive you crazy more than going to a place that does not serve consistently what it used to do. You go back because you're going to get what you always got. That's the value of great service. I stay in a lot of hotels and one hotel they used to give you this beautiful fruit basket. One day I checked in, no fruit basket. Called the front desk, uh, could you tell me please uh, if I could have a fruit basket? Oh sir, we stopped doing that. But that's a breakdown in training. How? They could have decided not to do the fruit basket. Okay, fair enough. And they say it costs money because we lose the fruit. Okay, no problem. But what they could have done is a check-in. They could have said, sir, normally we offer you a fruit basket. Now, we like to send you the fruits of your choice. What would you prefer us to send? We have apples, bananas, and oranges. I say, mm, please send me a banana. My fruit basket will still be there. It'll only be what I want to eat, so there's no waste, and I'm still giving service. This can be achieved through training not just changing the processes. So how does training make sense? It improves customer satisfaction. It improves employee motivation. It reduces losses. It creates reliable systems. And it ensures consistency. So, every dollar invested in training is making you profit. I'd like to thank you for listening. And if we can be of service to you, we'd love to help. You can check us out at hospitalityacademy.com. Thank you very much.